Hi guys, I'm back with another ArcadePCB repair. Today on the bench I have a non-working Double Dragon Gemma arcade board I got off of eBay. As always, we will go through the troubleshooting and repair together, step by step, so that this in the end might help you with your own arcade uh, PCB repairs. Uh, today, in this video, something is going to be fundamentally different though, because this time it is not me that is doing repair, Yes, it is actually up to you. This is a new thing I wanted to try for some time. The plan is as follows. I will, as usual, present to you a non-working arcade PCB. We will take a closer look at the game and the physical aspects of the particular board and after that try to run it. Then I will talk about the issues the board has and also will discuss possible reasons for the problems we are seeing. But after that, I will not actually start the troubleshooting the way I normally would, but instead you will get the opportunity to propose the next steps of action that could be taken to further diagnose and repair the board by posting them in the comments below under this video. So after a week or so, depending on your feedback, a new video of this repair will follow in which I actually apply the diagnostic steps and repair ideas that you posted. And I will then summarize uh, the situation after the steps have been taken and uh, new comments on how to continue will again be accepted. Um, this will repeat as often as it is required to actually fix the board. So this is the idea um, for this video, but in case you think this is nothing for you, I can assure you that the regular sit back and watch the show uh, repair um, type videos will follow independent of this new you do the re repair idea. Uh, yeah, but enough preliminary talk, let's get to the board. So we are looking at another example of a Double Dragon PCB, an arcade classic which practically invented the beat em up game genre. It is from the 80s and was made by Technos Japan. Um, here I can show you the game running in its full um, arcade glory in the uh, arcade club uh, in Bury, which I visited early this year. I already did some uh, Double Dragon repairs before, so uh, feel free to browse my older videos if you like. So this PCB here, I just uh, got it off of eBay, uh, non-working for 50 bucks. Uh, the description stated that it was only showing a blank screen. Uh, looking at the physical condition of the board, everything seems to be fine except that the top side of the PCB stack has accumulated some dust and dirt. There's no missing parts and no signs of previous repairs, which is good, of course. Taking apart the two-board step does not reveal too many problems. There's a bit of corrosion actually on the uh, bottom PCB, as you can see here. Uh, but it did, doesn't appear to be that bad. There's a full set of schematics available for this PCB which will make our repair much easier. Um, the schematics are available at uh, cloth.com and I will post a link for you in the info box below. Uh, okay, so I guess we are ready to hook up the board and see what it actually does. Okay, I hooked up the PCB and uh, this is what we actually get. We get a blank white or light gray screen which is just staying there and the game does not respond visibly or audibly to any coin or control inputs. So there's also no sound. That is uh, basically the situation um, at the moment. So. Um, what are my thoughts uh, at the moment on this PCB? Well, um, first of all, obviously the game is not running. Generally, that might suggest some problems with the CPU, meaning that the CPU is not being able to process the game code as planned due to, again, several possible reasons. 
mm, I actually find it very peculiar that we are getting a blank white screen on which you can see the regular uh, black borders of the uh, regular graphics area of the game. Uh, by the way, the flickering uh, that you can see here uh, in the video is not seen in person. It's actually a steady uh, a white screen. Um, I would say that this is peculiar because normally, say, if the main game process on a game board is being disturbed by whatever reason, let's say the CPU is dead or the ROM code is corrupted, then the game would then normally display garbage on the screen because it would still display the content of the video RAM on the screen independent from the CPU. So not only does the game not run, but also the circuit that displays the video RAM to the screen seems to have a problem. That's what I think. So I think that there's more than one problem with this PCB to begin with. Um, a common reason for the main game process and also for the video output to fail at the same time would be a clock issue. But uh, getting, so to say, a stable white screen with black borders around it suggests that we are having a working sync signal. A sync signal also requires a clock signal from the board, so a primary clock issue can be excluded from the list, I think. Well, I would say these are my thoughts on the board at the moment without doing any further electronic testing. Okay, so now it's up to you. Um, please post your ideas to the issue and suggested next diagnostic steps in the comments now. Uh, I know normally if someone requests a comment in their video, one usually ignores that. Um, but in uh, this case, this time, the video series and repair success actually depends on your feedback. So um, even if someone already posted a suggestion you find worth taking into account, please also show this to me by adding an additional comment so I can actually take the steps uh, that most of you consider worth taking. So um, please go ahead right now and type in your comment. Any ideas are welcome, as simple or as complex as they might be. Um, for now, uh, thanks for watching. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, of course, see you soon in the next part of this You Do Repair video. Bye!